What's going on folks? My name is Josh and I am the Outdoor Dude. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to peg a bullet weight, so stick around. Look at that big mama jamma, folks. All right, we're back, guys. And if you're new to the channel, I do all sorts of educational videos and other big fishing videos where I'm out catching muskie, bass, all sorts of different fish. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down in the corner so you don't miss a thing. And hit that notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I post a new video. All right, so how to peg a bullet weight. This can be actually very simple, well, as long as you're getting the correct advice. Whatever you do, don't use the toothpick method. If you jam a toothpick in your sink into the in between your sinker and your line, it will work for the time being. But what ends up happening is it applies pressure to your line where it shouldn't, and that line is going to break when you need it most, when you're reeling in a big fish, right? So don't do that. So when you want to pack a bullet sinker and you want to do it the right way, you want to buy yourself some bobber stops, is what they're called. And you can get them on Amazon for like five, five bucks or ten bucks for a hundred of these things, and you get a whole baggie of them like this and they're relatively inexpensive. Don't cheap out on those things or you're gonna lose fish. So what you wanna get is a bobber, a bobber stop. And it's got this loop up top. Maybe I can, I don't know if it's having any focusing trouble, but it's got this loop up top and you feed your line through there and you pull the stop onto your line. Today we're gonna to be doing this on my, another one of my budget setups, the Abu, Abu Garcia Silver Max Combo. I actually kinda of like this setup. It's a 6'6 six, six medium heavy. I fish in a small boat and it, on creeks a lot and stuff. Over A lot of overhanging brush, so I like a short rod. And it's a medium heavy, but it feels a lot stiffer than a medium heavy. And I've heard a lot of people say Abu Garcia makes their rods a little bit on the stiffer side than what they're actually rated at. But enough of me babbling, let's get into it. So I'm going to show you how I like to rig this. And you don't have to do it exactly how I do it, but... This is the way I like to do it for versatility reasons, and I'll show you why in a minute. To save time, I already have one bobber stop on the line already. My method, you put one on the line, grab your bullet sinker, in this case I got a 3 8 ounce steel weight, and you slide it on there, and it'll stop right at that bobber stop. Then you take your bobber stops that I showed you earlier, take your fishing line and you get one bobber stop off by itself run your fishing line through the eyelet of that bobber stop hold it like hold it like so and push that bobber stop up on the line now you've got it on there just pull it past your tag end and it comes apart now you got your stop on there and before you slide your peg up the line, make sure you wet the line a little bit just to make it a little easier to reduce friction on your line, especially if you're running mono and floor card. And for the sake of the video, if you watch any of my recent videos, you'll know that I, when I run Texas Rig, I love to run this Berkeley Havoc Crawl. So I'm gonna run that, and I'm gonna tie a quick knot on here. I got a three uh, extra wide gap, light wire hook, so I like to run, I do a different version when I run braid. I like to run it through the line, the hook twice. I turn it about eight times. Braid's known to slip a little bit. Then I run it back through. So I'm doing a modified, improved clinch knot. I don't know if anybody does this, but I run it back through the loop on the bottom and back through the loop on the top that I just made. Man, I'm doing this at a weird angle to show you, so it's awkward for me. Wet your line. Cinch her down. This is a 30 pound spider and with braid I really don't mind cinching her right down. So then cut off your tag end. And because the weight often is on top of this and this is a this is braid it tends to slip a little even with this knot that I just tied. I um I like to leave a little bit of the tag end on there. 
wet the line a little bit slide your sinker on down to the weight slide your other peg down on top of the sinker now when I run like this you can see there's a gap there right and that looks weird so what I'll do is I'll I'll redo the bait for this setup and I'll hook it a lot further down so it actually covers that a lot of that gap and you just put the nose of the hook in there to expose it like I like it and that looks a lot better okay so that's how I peg a weight. Now let me explain why I peg it this way. Um, it's very versatile for me to use it like this. When I'm trying to punch through the slop, this, this way, with it stuck right to the bait, works best. This can really come through grass and a lot of other structure really well. But when I'm looking to, say the grass on the bottom is real, real thick, and I don't want to quite get in there because it's just, sometimes this, this isn't even enough to come through the grass and it just gets all mucked up. So. What I like to do is, some I mean, of you guys run the Mojo Rig, some of you guys run it weightless. What I like to do to get a nice, more finesse presentation and let that bait float away from the weight a little bit is I'll slide both pegs however far I want that bait to stay away from the weight. Maybe about 12 inches. And now this weight can sit down in the grass and this bait can kind of just do its thing on the top of the grass. And you get a lot more bites like that, like a Carolina rig style bite or a Mojo rig style bite. Or you can run it unpegged and just pull one of your pegs about 10, 12 inches away from, away from the weight. And now it's just floating there and you've got more of that style. And that's how you peg a weight. That's how I peg a weight for a more versatile setup than rather than just one peg. And I'm gonna hit you with my question of the day. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you what what way you like to fish it. Do you like to fish this pegged? Do you like to fish it unpegged? Do you like the way I fish it? Let me know down in the comments. And hopefully this video was new, was good for new beginners. Hopefully this video was good for seasoned veterans. And I, I hope you guys keep coming back and watching my videos like you have been. All right, guys, this is where I'm gonna end the video. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button right there and check my page out. I got plenty more where that came from. And if you wanna see more videos like this, hit one of these two videos. Or how about that one? And I'll see you guys next time.